Hi, I'm here to talk about some basic body movements. Uh, first, I'll give you some definitions. First, we have uh, flexion, which is the bending movement in which a relative angle of a joint between two adjacent segments decreases. Now, in extension, it's the same thing, the bending movement in which the relative angle of a joint uh, between two adjacent segments increases. Next, we have rotation. Um, <coughs> excuse me. A rotation is a movement about an axis uh, of rotation in which not every point of the segment or body covers the same distance in the same time. Next we have abduction and adduction. For adduction, it is a movement towards the midline of the body. But for abduction, it is a movement away from the midline of the body. If these are difficult to understand, they are direct um, definitions from the book but I will explain later in this video. Supination and pronation. So, supination is a movement in which the back or the dorsal surface rotates upwards. And pronation is a movement in which the front or ventral surface rotates to face downwards. These movements are, are common in wrist and forearm, or basically forearm, and sometimes ankle movements. Next is circumduction. Circumduction is the movement that is a combination of flexion, abduction, adduction, and extension. Finally we have elevation and depression. For elevation it is the rise, the raising up of uh, a body part such as the scapula. And for depression, it is the lowering of a body part, such as the scapula. The scapula, you'll see later on, becomes a great example for showing depression and elevation. There are two positions that are commonly used by biomechanics and a lot of scientists. First, we have the anatomical position, which is basically you're straight forward, the body's straight forward, but your arms are out, outwards like this, your palms facing up. And then there is the fundamental position, which is with your arms to the sides. You can see them the sides. First, we have the neck. The neck has three different motions it can follow. Uh, the first is flexion. You can see from the side here. This is neck flexion. This is neck extension. And then if you look directly at me, this is neck rotation. Okay, next we have shoulders. First we have elevation and depression. So elevation is basically your shoulder shrug. So what you're going to do is you can, you're able to elevate your shoulders. And depression is release down from the side. Elevation, depression. Okay, now we have shoulder abduction and adduction. Now, uh, abduction is the movement away from the midline. So, this is your abduction. This is your adduction. Abduction, adduction. Now, for extension and flexion. So, what's going to happen here is your flexion will be going away from your body. So, you want to have your thumb up as well. So your thumb up, flexion, extension. This direction, flexion, extension. And finally, there's circumduction, which is circum, circular. So basically what you're going to be doing is the movement of, you can move your shoulder all the way around. So circumduction of the shoulder. Next, we're going to have the uh, wrists and arms. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So first, we have your wrist. So you place it out, and you're going to have your uh, flexion, which is bringing it upwards towards you. Flexion and extension. Very common stretch. A lot of people do flexion, extension. Next, we're going to be doing the uh, supination and pronation. So remember, you have your anatomical position. So if you're going to start from the fundamental position, 
Um, you're going to have supination, which is where your palm will be coming towards. So you're rotating your forearm. Supination. And pronation is where you will be, where you will be pushing it backwards. Pronation. Supination. Pronation. And finally, we have abduction and adduction of the fingers. So abduction of the fingers will be where you spread them apart because you're getting as far away from the midline as you can. And abduction, or adduction, excuse me, is when you bring them back together. Abduction, adduction. All right, next we have the trunk. Um, okay, so the trunk has three movements. Um, basically your core section. You have your flexion, which is this right here. Flexion. You're, flex, you're bending at the waist, so you're flexion forward and extension back. Flexion forward, extension back. A lot of times at the gym, a lot of people will be doing a uh, lower back exercise, which is called hyperextension. So it's when you get to the point where you go a little bit be beyond your straight parallel. Uh, and then finally, you have circumduction as well for your trunk, which is basically the full circular motion that you were able to do. That's why a lot of people are good at hula hoops. Next we have the, the hips. So first we have hip flexion, which is this movement here. Hip flexion, legs straight, so you feel it in your hip. Now hip extension. This back. So Flexion, extension, extension. Next we have hip abduction and adduction. Remember, abduction is away from the middle, so your abduction is going to be away, and your adduction is back towards the middle. Abduction, adduction. And finally we have circumduction, which is, again, the circular motion, so you can move your hips around in a circle. Next we have the knee, which is actually quite simple to show. Uh, the knee, uh, if you bring your knee up, you can see here. So then now we have knee extension and knee flexion. Extension, flexion. Extension, extending out, flexing back in. And finally we have the foot. So I'm going to show my best here of how to show my foot. We're going to have plantar flexion and dorsiflexion. So here's my foot. So we're going to have dorsiflexion is this direction when your foot is completely flexed back this to this way, and plantar flexion is when you have your foot placed this way. So dorsiflexion, plantar flexion, and finally we're going to have the. Uh, Inversion and eversion uh, of your foot. So first we have an inversion, which is where you would you see a, very commonly in the, in basketball or a lot of sports where one rolls their ankle. You can see how my foot is flat and you roll it to the side. An eversion is where you would roll it on the inside. It's actually almost difficult to do, and. It's not as common of an injury, but it can be just as severe.